Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I want to do um, the Petri effect again in combination with the flower. So um, I don't know if you remember, but I had this collaboration with um, Sandra Rettich and with Daniel Cooper. So hi Sandra, hi Daniel. I am trying this technique again and um, I already put my resin into my mold as you saw and it's um, the Art Pro resin from the Resin Pro company and I used the Indigo Blue, it's a uh, resin ink from Stefanie Etta and you see me altering this Indigo Blue together with the um, Let's Resin White Sinker. So I'm just altering and mainly I go with two or three drops of the white and then I just left it for a while so it could move back to the center. So it's looking a little bit weird, I need to admit, but um, yeah, it's very challenging and I think Sandra and also Daniel know about it. But we will see what I can achieve. So now I'm mixing my white. And the white is the angel white from Lores, but I received it from Laura's Art Corner. So thanks again, Laura, for the white. And I'm mixing it rather transparent, so it's not too heavy. I think you can see it from my stick. And then I'm... Yeah, I'm just cleaning a little bit my stick and then I'm just putting it into the piping bag. There it is. So I can pipe in circles or in spirals. I'm making the hole not too big. Yeah, I just need to get my scissor. And there you see me snipping the top of my piping bag and I think it's okay and I'm pouring um, around a circle where mostly the darker color is and now I'm just going around in a rather narrow spiral so at the beginning it's I'm trying to be a little bit accurate <laughs> But this will change once I, I've done my circles and I'm doing several layers again. I'm really curious um, because I never tried it with the Art Pro resin, so I'm very curious. I tried it um, this technique with the Mastercast and also with the B20 resin. And I had rather good results, but I thought, you know, I try with the Art Pro resin from the Resin Pro company. So now I'm giving it a quick torch. I'm always torching a long time after I've done, um, yeah, I pipe my or I drop my resin inks because I don't want my resin to burn, so nothing can happen. And now you see me drawing my petals, so I'm only going from outside in. And you will see I'm making the petals rather thin. It takes a while. And this video is already speeded up a little bit, but yeah, it takes as long as it takes. I'm sorry. But I think sometimes it's also important that you see the whole process. See, I'm now thinning, making the petals even more thin because I want to, to achieve um, a sort of Gerbera. I don't know if the English word, is it Gerbera or... But this is how we say it in German. So this is the effect I want to achieve with the flower. And I'm hoping I can succeed. I like this indigo blue 
very much it's a beautiful color and i think it matches quite good for this um, technique so anyway this is now the next day it's around about 24 hours later and time for demolding so actually i couldn't wait to to make a back layer i was so curious and yeah just have a look there are three big blobs but beside of this i'm very happy when i um, give you a close-up you can see really the petri effect i just wonder what you think about it um, do you like the style do you want me to make a back layer and if a back layer what color what would you do I'm just curious and there you see the Petri effect and it looks very organic, very natural, I think. If you don't um, consider my blobs at the side. <laughs> but I'm very, very happy about this pour. Okay, um, if you like this video, just um, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. Take care, guys. See you for the next video. Bye bye.